have to admit, this isn't my favourite time of the year. Although, don't get me wrong, I like the fact the dark nights are closing in, seeing as I've never been much of a fan of the sun. Especially not this year. 40 degree heat. I had to lock myself in a dark room for two months in case I got sunburn. And yes, I know you can't get it through the window, but you have to be 100% safe, don't you? Hmm? Anyway, I much prefer cosy nights in. Roaring fire. Snuggling up with a good book. <laughs> but Halloween? Oh, that puts me right off. Thing is, I'm a bit old school, you see. Whatever happened to bobbing for apples and treacle toffee so hard it broke your teeth? Those are the good old days that I remember when I was growing up. All those years ago. These days? Well, you hear them before you see them. Halfway down the road, knocking on doors. Trick or treat! Oh! That puts my teeth right on edge, and that is not a good thing, let me tell you. I am normally prepared for the onslaught. I get up quite early on the day, but usually because the, the clocks will have gone back the weekend before. And I do have some sweets lying around in case of persistent knockers. Probably from last Christmas when I had a few people over for dinner. <laughs> And I turn the lights off because I don't want them to think that there's somebody at home. Doesn't work. Five o'clock rolls round and the first ones turn up. It's usually the very small children, so, well, they don't hang about for long because all the little puppets have to be home by six, bless. And then at six o'clock, that's when the teenagers usually appear. In a gang with a lone parent in tow, I mean. You're 13. Have a bit of self-respect. Should you not be at home playing on your PS5 and making TikToks by now? There was one persistent knocker this year, a bit later than normal. So I grabbed me half a tub of celebrations and a couple of Ferrero Rocher and he opened the door. Only it wasn't a small child. It was a police officer. Well, at least he was dressed as a police officer. And, and he shows me this photograph of somebody that looks a bit like George Clooney, only I mean, it wasn't George Clooney, and asked me had I seen him. Well, I thought that was a bit strange. I mean, why would I know a George Clooney lookalike? And then the officer asked if he could step inside and have a look round. Well, I wasn't too sure. But he assured me it was all perfectly routine and... Well, who was I to argue? He'd be gone soon enough, so I invited him in. I did actually used to watch ER when George Clooney was in it. I quite fancied him, actually. <laughs> I do like my doctors with a bit of a cheeky smile. And I've had um, quite a few over the years. <laughs> the man in... The picture though he wasn't a doctor he was he was an amazon delivery driver who'd gone missing in the local area a couple of days ago well i told the officer i said well i don't really watch the news which isn't true like i say i do spend a lot of time indoors and then the officer asked if he could have a look downstairs in the basement. I suppose it was then that I had to act. Seeing as how downstairs in the basement is where I sleep. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't this all a bit stereotypical happening at Halloween? Oh yes, you can say that. But you're not the one lumbered with having to get rid of both an Amazon truck and a police car now that I've removed the trackers. And they've not been round for the package from next door. Mind, how would they know it was here since I never signed for it? Hmm. <laughs> I might pop round later. See if they're in. 
the last package they had delivered here was a garlic press. Ooh, that put a shiver up my spine. They don't use it now. Not since they invited me in. Which reminds me, never invite a vampire into your house. Although you can enter a vampire's house without needing an invitation, so reflect on that. Because I certainly can't. <laughs> Reflect. Get it. Sorry. It's just a bit of vampire humour. Next door will understand. <laughs>